Cansa, what do the letters stand for? Are they just another anagram in the alphabet soup of national bureaucracies? What do they mean? To be precise, the letters are government shorthand for the American National Space Administration. But what do they really mean? ANSA stands for the greatest conglomerate of scientific vision and knowledge in the history of mankind. Nothing less than that. And if I sound like I'm bursting with pride, it's because I am. We at ANSA have come a long way in 10 years, both figuratively and literally. From a science fiction dream in the fertile imagination of Chairman Dr. Otto Hasslein, the program quickly progressed to the first manned spacecraft to orbit the Earth. With the combined brilliance of the finest minds in aerospace science, Dr. Hasslein then turned his attention to exploring other worlds, landing men on the moon, and then the red planet, Mars. But ANSA's vision could not be limited by our own solar system. Human exploration of Earth's neighboring planets served as only a prelude to ANSA's further ambitions. Photon propulsion and near light speed travel have now allowed Dr. Hasslein and his team to target distant galaxies and nebulae for their next destinations. The result, Project Liberty, in which a manned spaceflight will be sent to the distant constellation Centaurus, four light years away. The purpose of the mission is a selfless one to increase the knowledge of man for yet to be born generations. This is the Liberty One, a winged chariot that will propel man into the greatest adventure ever conceived. Built to withstand the pressures of near light speed travel, the Liberty represents the technological crown jewel of the ANSA fleet. After a five year series of exhaustive tests and prototypes, the ANSA team are confident that it is ready to carve its place in the annals of history. Like a shooting star, the Liberty will slice through space at velocities approaching the speed of light. Dr. Hasslein discovered that under this circumstance, time dilates. The astronauts aboard the ship will age only 18 months, while 2,000 years will have elapsed on Earth. ANSA's life science group have created the means for chemically inducing human hibernation aboard the spacecraft. The astronauts will sleep inside hermetically sealed pods in suspended animation during what for them will be a four-year flight. Of course, this means that these brave space pioneers can never return to the world they knew. They will be leaving everything and everybody behind, never to see them again. After their successful voyage, the world to which they return will undoubtedly be very different. Colonel George Taylor leads the team into space. West Point graduate, class of 41, ace fighter pilot in both World War II and the Korean War, Colonel Taylor became the first candidate of ANSA's elite astronaut corps. When asked why he would leave behind the world he knew to explore the vastness of deep space, he answered simply, for the promise of a better world. Lieutenant John Landon serves as navigator aboard the Liberty One. Distinguishing himself as navigator on ANSA's Juno Mars mission, Lieutenant Landon automatically became the prime choice for the Liberty Project. After searching their souls and weighing the sacrifice, John and his wife proudly chose to add the lieutenant's talents to the mission. His infant son, Mike, will grow to manhood knowing that his father bravely conquered nothing less than time and space. Lieutenant Thomas Dodge serves as head science officer. At the relatively young age of 35, Lieutenant Dodge exhibits the vision of a man with twice his years. He admits yearning to find intelligent life at the crew's ultimate destination, a dream he has often discussed as professor of organic chemistry at Annapolis. Lieutenant Marianne Stewart, 33, is both a career astronaut and a respected biological researcher. A veteran of ANSA's Apollo and Juno space programs, she brings experience, curiosity, and old-fashioned guts to the team. Two first alternates round out the crew, Brent, 34, and Colonel Skipper Donovan, 38. Of course, as we bid farewell to our colleagues, the parting will be bittersweet. We wish them Godspeed, and we envy the unimaginable wonders they will encounter. We also realize that for us, it is a final goodbye. They are embarking on a journey that we cannot share. We can only imagine the wonders they will bring back to relatives as distant as the stars themselves. Late one night, Dr. Hasslein sat alone at his desk, the last to leave the ANSA building, and his mind drifted from equations and graphs to the human adventure about to begin. 
The sadness of sacrifice and the thrill of discovery filled his imagination as he grappled with his feelings. Something of an amateur poet. He picked up a pen and wrote some words on the back of an envelope. And those words have become a motto and a prayer for the Liberty Project and its intrepid explorers. To the distant reaches climb, far beyond space, far beyond time.